Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a little remote control circuit using the Raspberry Pi Pico, which you can see mounted on my breadboard. Now, this remote control circuit will be wireless. We'll be using Bluetooth. So I have an HC06 Bluetooth module mounted on my breadboard. Now, the commands will be coming from my smartphone over Bluetooth. And I have an app running. It's called Bluetooth Serial Controller. And you can see on my smartphone, I have nine buttons. Now, only three of them are mapped. It's the three on the bottom, just to keep the code simple. So if I hit the on button, you can see my LED comes on, off. It's pretty responsive. And then I have a toggle button, which toggles the LED. If I hold it down, it will toggle the LED. Now this app running on my smartphone, you can get on the Google Play Store. It's called Bluetooth Serial Controller. Just download it into your phone, and you can run it. Pair it to the HC06 Bluetooth module, and then you can control it with commands. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer and it's paired to my smartphone through Bluetooth running the Bluetooth serial controller app. So I'm going to hit the buttons, the on, off, and toggle buttons on my smartphone. You'll see the commands that are being sent, the text commands. So I'll hit the on button and it's sending LED on. If I hit the off button, it's sending LED off. If I hit the toggle button, it's setting LED toggle. So that's programmed into the buttons, three buttons, LED on, LED off, and LED toggle. And that's sent over to the Pico, and the Pico will take these commands and turn the LED on and off or toggle. Now we could go into the app and program the command line, the command text for each button for the on, off, toggle. So we'll go into the app, we'll go to command, and we'll go to button 7, 8, and 9. Those are the three buttons. You can see button 7, LED on. Button 8, LED off. Button 9, LED toggle. So if we go into button 7, see there we could, we could put in the text, LED on, and then a carriage return. So we need a line feed, a new line. So that's how we program the commands for each button. Okay, here's the code running on the Pico, and it's fairly simple. If you look at the very top, you can see we're importing machine for pin and UART. Now pin 11, GPIO, is connected to the LED that we're controlling. And we're configuring that as an output, pin 11. We're using UART 0, which is connected up to the Bluetooth module, HC06. And we're running that at 9600 baud. Now we're going to go into a while true loop. This is a continuous loop. And the first line is command equals UART dot read line. So it's going to stop here and it's going to wait for some text to be entered through the UART over the HC06 Bluetooth module with a line feed as a delimiter. And when it gets that, that line, that text, it's going to put it into a buffer. Then it's going to look at that buffer and if it sees LED on as text in the buffer, in the command buffer, it's going to turn on the LED. If it sees LED off in the command, it will turn off the LED. If it sees LED toggle in the command, it will toggle the LED. So these are the three commands, and this is continuously looping. And we could add more else ifs to this uh, program with more buttons for a more complex project. Okay, so now you know how this little remote control circuit works. It's pretty simple. We'll go through the hardware setup. So I got my Pico mounted on my breadboard. And this pin here is labeled VBUS. And that's 5 volts, and it's getting it from the USB connectors. So that 5 volts is fed along, and it's feeding the Bluetooth module. Now the ground of the Bluetooth module and the ground of the Pico are connected together. And the TX output of the UART of the Bluetooth module is connected into the RX input of the UART on the Pico. And here's our LED that we're controlling. And we'll control it on, off, or toggle. Now if we could control the LED, we could control anything. We could substitute the LED for a relay like this. We could control 120 volt loads at 10 amps. So we could build a little controlling circuit. Now we could expand on this. Now instead of having an HC06 Bluetooth module, we could substitute a LoRa module because the range of a Bluetooth is only about 40 feet, but if we substitute a LoRa radio module, we could get up to 8 kilometers or 5 miles. And the output is the same. There's a UART output on the LoRa module. We just plug it in and it's feeding the TX of the LoRa into the RX of the UART. And we could get a very long range using LoRa. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer, and it's connected to my receiving LoRa module. So now when I send ASCII code, ASCII strings, 
through my Bluetooth uh, module, through my app, we can see them come up on the screen on the receiving LoRa module. So I'll hit some buttons on my app, and you get you can hear it being transmitted. So those are all the strings that I have assigned to each button. So all we have to do now is run some code to decode those strings and activate our devices. Okay, there's another receiver option that we could use. We could use a little RC receiver, like this one here. Now some of you might recognize it. This is a 16-channel digital RC receiver. And it has a connector here. It's a UART output, so that UART can be connected to the input of the Pico. And we could decode the signals coming out of this uh, little RC receiver. Here's the antennas. And the protocol coming out of here is called SBUS. Now if you're into racing drones, you might be familiar with one of these. It's a racing drone. And in, inside here is a receiver, like I just saw. And it's actually a micro, microcontroller, an STM32F411. And it's taking the data from the SBUS. And it's giving us our throttle control, our yaw, our pitch, and our roll. So we could take that data out of the receiver and we could feed that into the Pico and we could come up with our own custom radio control system. Okay, so now you know how to receive data into a UART over a serial port and parse out control commands to come up with your own remote control system and the different receivers that you could use, anything that's UART compatible you could hook up to the Pico and come up with your own system. So I hope this video will give you some ideas how you could come up with your own remote control system.